Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we've got space weather, earth weather in the polar vortices, dark matter, large-scale harmony and cycles, and the impacts of the North Atlantic cold blob are growing. Let's get started, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and it's going to look a bit jittery as an SDO calibration roll happened yesterday. No flares or major eruptions, though. Plasma filaments have remained mostly stable. Corona hole turning through and magnetically connecting to Earth today for an earthquake watch. Did see one filament snap in the north incoming, small and not aimed our way. And in addition to watching the coronal hole stream coming towards the Earth, be here in about two or three days, and the filament stability, we may have more sunspots incoming with that brightness at the limb there. Folks, let's go to the polar vortex and we're starting in the south where the twist is still extremely strong. Hasn't really broken down for the southern summer yet. Meanwhile, up north the vortex is still extremely weak. In another month, these two are going to basically look like they flip-flop polar regions. Up next, we're seeing about the only successes dark matter searchers ever have. They put another X in a box where not to look. They've set new limits meaning they looked in a new space of mass and interaction and found nothing, just as they have every single time anyone has ever looked for WIMP dark matter. That's because it's not real. Up next, outstanding paper free from the paywalls on natural cycles, harmonics of electromagnetism, and how they impact the human body. Some great stuff in there on the moon and on Earth's magnetic field. Safe to say these authors clearly understand the subtle, invisible, energetic workings of the cosmos. Last but not least, the impacts of the North Atlantic cold blob are starting to take their toll on the winds, local temperatures, and precipitation. The North Atlantic cold blob is the infant manifestation of the AMOC collapse beginning this round of Earth's disaster cycle as heat transports fail and cold freshwater melt intrudes. First it appeared, now it's working the weather. Folks, the winter tour tickets are going fast. Hop on and plan your trip to come to one of our winter locations. All tickets are on one page. Select which city and date you want. Scroll down to finish. It's going to be an epic masterclass. Hope to see you out there. This weekend is the Colorado Prepper Expo. I speak at 1 p.m. on Saturday. Hope to see you there too. And if you're traveling, think about staying with us at Observer Ranch. Major combat training kicks off November and then observer speed dating. Sweet spot appears to be that 35 to 55 age range. Direct link below and it is time to find your prepper princess or your post-apocalyptic warlord. The film premiere and final pole shift conference of the year mid-November after that. And folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now it's 5 30 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone